Hello, today we are going to disassemble the Domiplan 2.8 50mm automatic lens. It's a fairly cheap and versatile 50mm lens for analog cameras. It has an automatic diaphragm which is activated by this button. So the first thing is that the front nameplate, so as I mentioned the nameplate is really easy to remove. The back, we start by opening this covering. Now, the pin here activates a pretty neat mechanism which translates this motion into a vertical motion. It basically swaps the motion 90 degrees. There's three screws here. Here is the lens system and the diaphragm. The diaphragm is activated by pushing this button. You can see the blade is coming out there. Be careful because there are these small springs here which will easily pop out. There is this silvery thing which is the focus ring which has these small rivets. These two, when you focus, they will keep in place inside here and will enable the rotation of the front. Without these rivet, uh, rivets, uh, you wouldn't be able to restrain zoom goes. So you go over over limits, as you can see. You should remove these. But please note there, you can always draw like a red or with a pencil a line here so you know how the rivets were if you are unsure. Alright. Let's remove the diaphragm cover. Alright, here is the diaphragm mechanism. It's a marvelous device. The diaphragm consists of several pieces of really by lifting, by lifting here, like so. Here is the mechanism which activates the... At this point, we can turn our device over. And please be careful not to scratch the inner lens. We now can pull out the aperture ring. It pops out. It's a simple ring. There is a small bearing here, which you should not lose. Now here you have the tension spring, gives the aperture a bit of resistance. There's also some lube here, and here we can remove the focusing system. This leaves us two parts. The inner, this is the outer lens, and this is the inner lens. And there, then there's the rear lens here. Now, you can adjust this. Uh, there are these 
marks here which have been set by the assembler at the factory. If you have a special tool you can turn this focusing system. Because I originally opened my system because my, my lens didn't focus at infinity so what I did was fiddle with this thing and it pretty much worked. So here you can see the all right. So here you can see the focusing mechanism. It is activated by these two parts. You can see here's a threads inside. It consists of these two rings and are connected by a thread. Now, if you took it away carefully, you could just put it back, but let's say I was a bit clumsy. We'll sit loosely on the ring. One by one, replace these diaphragms as shown. Now, when putting the diaphragm cover back, please be sure to push this pin so that the diaphragm gets in the right place. Now the diaphragm cover is in place. Now we need to adjust the focusing dial to correct position. Roll out the focus so that the red arrow comes out. Rotate the focus disc so that it doesn't go any further this way. Now turn so that the rivet Rear track will be at correct position.